Okay, Tom and Dave here at uh, the Pit Stop Car Wash in Colorado Springs Academy and Fountain. And I'm going to provide you with an overview of how to connect a CryptoPay swiper to a vacuum. I'd like to suggest that prior to doing this installation, you watch the uh, video on the CryptoPay website that covers how to connect a CryptoPay swiper to a self serve bay. Um, that's kind of a precursor to this. It, it covers many of the things that we would do here. So please watch that video first. Now on this video, the swiper has already been mounted. The two holes have been drilled, the swiper's been mounted, a third hole's been drilled to get the wires into this vacuum coin box. Um, I do want to note that if you would like to order our swiper, without the stainless steel button um, to simply output pulses and start the vacuum you can. Um, many of our customers do that and also many of our customers choose to keep the button so they can add additional pulses and allow the customer to uh, buy more vacuum time. Okay we have opened up the coin box. I want to strongly um, caution you to make sure you have the power shut off on the vacuum. These vacuums are high voltage and high current, so power has been removed from the vacuum. Tom will point to where the uh, holes have been drilled using our CryptoPay template. And now it's a matter of getting power to the swiper and then choosing which output wire to use uh, from our swiper to give pulses to this vacuum. In this next part of our video, I want to briefly come cover the uh, swiper wiring. Um, this vacuum here is a high voltage, high current vacuum. And the CryptoPay swiper runs off of 24 volts AC. So the yellow and black wire have been connected up to the top of this vacuum as I zoom up to a transformer that the car wash owner installed. That transformer allowed the higher voltage to be stepped down to 24 volts AC, which is the power that is required for the CryptoPay swiper. This is something you don't feel comfortable doing. Hire a qualified electrician or a car wash service technician. But the CryptoPay swiper does need 24 volts AC to, uh, to run off of. I'm going to zoom back down to the inside of the coin box. Now it's a matter of you deciding which output signal wire from the CryptoPay swiper you need to use. The blue is DC pulse, the red is AC pulse. You'll need to look at your vacuum timer to decide which one of our two output signal wires you need to use. Note, you'll only use one of them, either the red uh, AC pulse wire or the blue DC pulse. And you will connect that to your timer on the timer's coin input. Also make sure that you have the CryptoPay swiper configured. They are shipped to you in an unconfigured mode and you'll need to configure that using our online program at mycryptopay.com forward slash login. Okay, we're at the end of the uh, CryptoPay swiper installation on this vacuum. And in just a moment, we're going to do a, uh, a quick test. I want to highlight where we've been. We uh, mounted the CryptoPay swiper. When we uh, determined the wiring requirements for the swiper, it was realized that a uh, step-down transformer needed to be installed, which provided the right power for the CryptoPay swiper, which is 24 volts AC. And we showed you that uh, previously. And uh, this wiper has already been configured. And you can determine that because the LED light bar is in a multicolor scrolling mode. Um, if your swiper is in a blinking yellow mode, it is in an out of service mode and it must be configured using the CryptoPay online login, which is mycryptopay.com forward slash login. So this swiper has been configured for the right amount of pulses that the timer has been programmed for. And now Tom's going to swipe the card 
and we're going to start the vacuum. CryptoPay swiper LED went blue, and we're running the vacuum. 